today we're going to talk about exponential graphs and when we look at exponential graphs we talk about them either having a growth or a decay. So growth is going to be when the graph is going up from the direction from left to right and decay is when the graph is going down from left to right. So let's look at the equation. This right here is the standard equation for an exponential graph. Now when it's written like that y equals a is going to be some number and b is going to be some number and that's that b is going to be raised to the power of x so when you're looking at this equation think of a and b as some number when we, f when we look at this equation we can find the y-intercept the y-intercept is going to be represented by the letter a now the reason why this represents the y-intercept is because think about it the y-intercept has an x value of 0. So if I plug in 0 for my x value, y equals a times b to the 0 power. Well what is b to the 0 power? We talked about this earlier in the unit. b to the 0 power is equal to 1. So that would be like I'm saying y is equal to a times 1 and a times 1 will always give you a. So it doesn't matter what a is, a is always going to be the y-intercept. Okay, now when is it going to be exponential growth and when is it going to be exponential decay? Well that is all based off of the letter B right here. Whatever this number is, if B is greater than 1, then we say that the graph is exponential growth. That means that from left to right, the graph is going to be increasing. If B is between 0 and 1, then we say the graph is exponential decay. That means from left to right, the graph is decreasing. So let's look at a couple of examples. We're going to graph these equations. Now first of all, when you look at this first equation, y equals 3 to the x power, what is your a? Well, I don't have a number before the base. We assume that that number is 1. So my a is equal to 1, which means that is my y-intercept. So I can start off with that point right there. When x is 0, y is going to be 1. And again, we can just plug that in. y is equal to... 3 to the 0 power, well 3 to the 0 power is 1. Um, is this going to be exponential growth or exponential decay? Well, you can tell that by looking at the B term, which would be your 3. Is 3 bigger than 1 or is 3 in between 0 and 1? Well, it's bigger than 1, so we know that we are having a growth problem or a growth graph, I guess I should say. Okay, so let's keep working the problem. We're going to keep substituting in values for zero. Now I like to choose a couple of negatives and a couple of positives. We already have our zero value plugged in, so let's look at a negative one. If I take negative one and I plug it in for x, then I'm going to have y equals three to the negative one power. And we've talked about this before, that when you have a negative exponent, it flips the base and raises it to the positive exponent, which would be 1. Well, 1 over 3 to the first power is 1 third. And for this case, because it is a graph, we're going to say that it is 0.3 repeating, so that we know where that is on the graph. Let's plug in a positive 1. If I plug in positive 1 for x, so y equals 3 to the first power. You should know what that is. It's 3. So y is going to be represented by 3. Okay, so let's graph those points. We have 0, 1, which is right here. Try to make that a little bit darker. We have negative 1, 0.3, so that's going to be low. And then we have 1, 3, which is going to be right here. So we can see that it's going to be the graph 
that goes through these two points. So I'm going to try very hard to go through those points. I did a decent job. And it's going to be exponential growth. Now this looks very similar to the parent function, which in fact it is a parent function when the base is 3. On this next example too, I want you to try it yourself. Pause the video, try it yourself, and then replay it, and let's see if we get the same answer. Good job. You can see that we still, uh, hopefully we got the same answer, and it is a reflected exponential graph. For the next set of examples, it says state whether the following are exponential growth or decay. So if you remember from the beginning of the lesson, the number that represents exponential growth or decay is this number right here that's being raised to the x power. So in example one, it is one third. One third is between zero and one, so this, is rep this represents decay. In example two, the number that we're looking at is eight. 8 is bigger than 1, so this number represents growth. Okay, pause the video, work example 3, restart the video, and let's make sure we get the same answer. Good job. Example 3 is a growth because 2 is bigger than 1. Hope you did well with this lesson. Uh, you need to know how to decide if it's exponential growth or decay. You also need to know how to graph the equation. And if you will fill out your WISC document and submit it to us, then we will see you tomorrow. Have a good evening.